Build Your Own Robot Challenge is especially designed to test the participants' robot building and programming skills. Teams are required to build a robot that can pick up a container and transport its content to the receiving container at the end of the track. The game field, actual dimensions of the container, and its content will only be revealed on the day of the event. A team is made up of a maximum of three members. Each team is only allowed to bring two Rero standard set boxes or any box with roughly equivalent size, and one laptop bag into the challenge area. During the briefing session, each team will be given a sealed envelope containing written instructions for the task to be completed. After the briefing, participants are given 10 minutes preparation time to plan and ask questions. Two identical game fields will be set up within the challenge area for teams to test run and attempt the challenge. Teams can make full use of the challenge period to build and program their robots and test run on the game fields. However, one of the game fields will be reserved for attempts only from 1 p.m. onward. Participants can queue up to attempt the challenge from 1 p.m. onward. Participants may only queue if they're holding their team's robot. The queue will close at 3.45 p.m. Teams will have to be in queue before 3.45 p.m. if they want to make one final attempt before the challenge ends. Time limit for each attempt is 2 minutes. Teams can make unlimited attempts during the challenge period. Scoring will be based on the path selected by the robot, and also the amount of content successfully transported to the receiving container at the end of the track. Total score will be multiplied by 1.5 if the robot can autonomously complete the challenge. No reward or penalty will be given for robots that are remote controlled. Winners will be determined based on each team's best achievement. The top 8 teams will be the champion, first runner-up, second runner-up, and excellence award winners. All teams who successfully complete the challenge would be awarded certificates of achievement, 